Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Garden, and this is Final Vendetta, and this is on Nintendo's wonderful Switch console. And indeed, here's the Switch dashboard. You can see I've been playing uh, Super Nintendo games there. Imagine that on the Retro channel. And our type 2, for some reason. I don't remember playing that. Anyway, Final Vendetta, which is surprisingly difficult to play, is made by these people, Bitmap Bureau. And these people, Nun Skull Games, and we have some 80s style music, and a telephone. Let's get that answered. And you get my number. Uh, never mind. Uh, we've got your sister. Oh, Jesus. It's threatening. She's angry, though. It's Blaze from Streets of Rage. It's Cross. Miller and Duke. We've got some creeps to sort out. Oh, man. We've got Hagger's smaller brother, and we've got uh, the guy who sang the Ghostbusters music in 1984. I can't remember his name. Ray Parker Jr., something like that. Uh, let's put it on hard. Ultra difficulty is locked. I don't know why we're putting it on hard. This is one of the levels. Difficult casual. Easy. Hard. Got not many choices there. Looks like we've got a... Uh, CRT shader. Hmm. This is very SNK looking. This is uh, everything about this screams Neo Geo stylings. Looks a bit like the King of Fires game, which is weird. I mean, it's cool, but weird. It even sounds a bit like uh, King of Fires game. Okay, got some controls here. A to block. I bet I won't be using that much. Uh, that's all cool. Okay. So we've got some moves. We've got some moves. Press X to strike down enemies. Lovely. Curb stomping. You gotta respect that in the game. So let's play. Let's play! Final Vendetta. Uh, press start. Thank you. Press start. Thank you. Right, who are we going to pick? Let's pick Blaze. Lovely. Okay, this is the streets. There's a rat in a bin. Ah, lovely. Oh, cool. So we've got the Streets of Rage style. Press jump to skip over them and do a different throw thing going on. So this actually looks like it's going to be a very Streets of Rage, which is cool for me. Okay. Got some high kicks. Okay. Uh, this represents my second play of this game, by the way, this video. I played it the first time with the big dude, and... Um, it was obnoxiously hard with the big dude for some reason, and uh, I couldn't work out the moves. So I've decided to start again with Blaze here. Her name's actually Claire. I'll call her the, the name that she's been given. Claire, and um, it seems to be easier so far. This music is so Streets of Rage, and that sound effect was Streets of Rage. That is painful. We've got a British telephone box in the middle of. Um, what looks like New York. That's weird. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We've got a cat in the background bopping his head to the tunes. Loving that attention to detail. Yeah, doesn't this look very squish? Yeah, sort of lovely pixel art. Most enjoyable to uh, look at. The gameplay, um, like I said, with the big beefy dude. It wasn't that satisfying. He's no hagger, that's for sure. But this is a bit more interesting. What has Bins ever done to you, eh? Oh, got a dude with giant arms. He's angry because he was born with just massive, massive forearms. They're weirdly animated, these characters. They look cool. Their animation is fairly odd. I mean, it's characterful in some ways, but just um, just a bit weird looking. 
Like that dude came out that door there. He had lots of friends about it, it was cool, it was weird looking. These characters are actually uh, lifting straight from the streets of rage as well, aren't they? There was a ginger haired dude there with a blue denim top who was very streets of rage. There was another variant of him there. Mm, okay, well. I think like a sort of dragon punchy move there somewhere in the middle of that. Hmm, how did I do that? Got 90 chain, so you can chain all the the deaths together. This is actually that guy had a British accent, so this is supposedly Britain. That's why we had a telephone box. That makes sense. Hmm. So, sneaky, sneaky Pete. What's his name? Big Frank. Oh, look, Big Frank Bruno from the 1980s. Oh, the uh, rock hard boxer. I would call him Sneaky Pete because he's trying to sneak up behind me and punch me in the back of the head. There's that guy again from the Streets of Rage. There he is. Look at him go. Use the block. <laughs> I successfully used the block button. Oh, it's all coming together now. It's it's clicking. I did do a dragon punch. How did I do that? I don't know. Was it luck? Was it luck? Or was it excellent gameplay from me? Well, Sneaky Peak's dead. Well done, Blaze. Big Frank's dead. Well done, Claire, is what I meant to say. It took me 3 minutes and 43 seconds to clear out that slum. I've got an E rank. I killed everybody. I killed everybody you told me to kill. I mean, this is... looks like, again, like New York. But uh, this must be still the England. I don't know why I said that incredibly slowly. It's because... Um, I'm an idiot. So anyway, I got Final Vendetta as a gift, and uh, I'm not sure how much it costs, but at the moment it's about 15 to 20 quid. And uh, you can see there's been lots of love poured into this, lots of uh, studying of SNK's visual style, crossed with Sega's gameplay and visual style, which is only to be applauded as why would you uh, why would you not do that? Because it's a lovely, lovely stuff. The animation's a bit weird, like I said, but everything else is cool, it's lovely and colourful. Got some chunky sprites, got a widescreen presentation. We've got some music which has a bit of a prodigy feel to it on this level at least, which is fine. I believe you can get this game on all the formats. It's a cricket bat. Take middle to upper class sports equipment to the face. There's a hot dog there. Always eat floor meat. There's nothing finer than a floor meat diner. Oh, kick the bloke in the balls whilst he's on the floor. There's that cricket bat again. Someone's getting this in the chops. Using it like an axe. I didn't like that. Though. Yeah, I believe this is available on all what, PS4 and uh, Xbox One. Uh, I'd say the Switch version is 14 to, sort of 15 to 20 quid. And uh, it looks and plays a bit like this, this which is alright. Beat on the barrels. God, just give me a two quid challenge to the face. Who's he thinking he is? Oh, that guy's throwing knives. Wow. This is, um... I'm sure this isn't as tough as I'm making it look. Like I said, this is only really my second go on this game. And, uh... Whilst it's enjoyable, um, I still don't feel like I've got full... Uh, command of its systems. And I don't know the characters and their moves particularly well in terms of the enemies. I don't know... I don't know when I'm safe and when I'm not these guys yet because I'm not entirely sure. Like this, this guy here with the ginger hair and the uh, uh, my fly green top, he he's quite sneaky. He snuck in and sort of donkey punched me a couple of times there. I'm not quite sure if he does anything else. 
He looks like the guy from Final Fight who's going to slide along the floor in his general demeanour and his attitude. But he never did it once, so I don't know. This guy's just got massive arms. Uh, he's like half gorilla. There's my angle fly again. He's just sort of hanging around at the side of the screen being a bit sneaky and then just jabbing me. So... I don't know. Carver, because he's got a knife, is it? Lovely. Carver and Slasher. Yeah, because they've got knives. <laughs> uh, I see what they've done there. Don't know why that one's called Raven, though. I don't know why having a whip would mean your name is Raven. Maddox. And Zane. Don't know. Yep. Always a satisfying move up. Although, uh, in Streets of Rage, they did like a somersault thing, which is even more fun. That guy's charging me. He's got massive arms and he's just angry. He's got a very square head. Oh, Jesus, there's loads of them. Oh my god, there's too many people. Oh, kicking me in the face. This is when I should use my special move, I guess. But, you know, I'm not going to do that because uh, I'm very poor. I'm very poor at playing this game. Ooh. Guy with grenades. Well, he's compensating for something, isn't he? Come to a fist fight with grenades. Crazy son of a gun. Look like a nice cartwheel kick there. There's the kicking the dudes on the floor is quite satisfying, but I don't think I've killed anybody with that yet. Oh, he's got me. So he said. Well, maybe they're not actual grenades, they're more like gas bombs. That's why he's got a gas mask on. Oh my god, it all makes sense. The visual cues were there. You just have to put two and two together. Oh, hello. Oh, what happened there? This soundtrack is very prodigy. Anyway. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, scrolling beam up. It's uh, so I've played a few scrolling beam ups recently, and spoiler, and this is probably the third best one I've played out of the three. So there are at least two other better scrolling beat em ups on the Switch than this. In terms of mechanics, I mean, I think visually this one probably wins. But in terms of mechanics and gameplay. There's a couple of others which I prefer. I'm not sure I've reviewed them yet, so what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to mention them by name, but what I'm going to say is, at the moment, and like I said, this is only my second play of this, there's at least two other games, strong beat ups on the Switch, that I prefer. But we'll have to make that final assessment after I've given this a good, a good couple of hours of play. Yeah. All right. Well, that's final vendetta, and that's someone who's been killed by a barrel. Ta-ra.